Oh, that mini helmet is dope. Mermesa? Yeah, where'd you get that? You go to Mermesa? Yeah, you went to oh, Mermesa? Shit. Yeah, you went to Mermesa? We're brothers. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> What's going on, everyone? This is Brupak Shakur. Hey, what's everybody? Every, every, <laughs> <laughs> just roll with it. Just roll just with it. <laughs> uh, hey, what's up, everybody? It's Art. And this is Brian. And welcome to the Bruin Podcast, where we're creating community <laughs> connections through casual conversations. We're having a morning. I know. This is episode 12? <laughs> yeah. Yes. This is episode Question 12. Question uh, Yeah. yeah. Do us a favor and subscribe to the channel. It does help us out. Social media, Instagram, all the channels. All right. So today, on today's episode, we have a special guest, CJ Miguel in the building. Yo, yo. Ooh, what's good, everybody? First ever guest. Yes. First guest ever. You're setting the bar for all the other guests, man. Yeah. All right. Here we go. <laughs> CJ is a shift manager at In-N-Out and oh. uh, a DJ yes, sir. with a passion for professional growth and Development. Self-development, yes, sir. And music as well. Yeah, you might have heard me toss his name around every Mm -hmm. once in a while. He is the infamous (laughs) CJ. Yeah, so this is uh, is my partner in crime right here. Yeah, I see, baby. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah, this is my cousin. So, uh, yeah, all the the episodes where I was referencing, this is is him. This is the guy. Yes, this is CJ. The man, the myth, the legend. I think I forgot to crack crack open uh, drinks, but let's Let's do that now for the ASMR. ASMR. Just don't get out on the mic. Cheers. 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 This smells really oh, good. I know. I know. Cheers. 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 What flavor is this? Passion fruit orange guava. guava. Mm-hmm. Passion it from miles away. <laughs> We're going to DMCA, dude. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Good morning. That's not bad, yeah. This is no like, aftertaste, right? Usually mm-hmm. seltzer has like this little weird well, aftertaste. And that's what this podcast cake. is about. Yeah. <laughs> we review drinks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's get into some testimonials. We like to read testimonials on the show. These come from our community members, taken from either conversations, comments, and or direct messages, a.k.a. DMs. <laughs> okay. Slide Just in, in case. <laughs> you guys. Right? <laughs> For so, all you older generation. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so uh, this testimonial is from Andrew. He said, watch the podcast. Thank you for the shout out. You are doing big things. Thank you, Andrew. Andrew yes. uh, went to Mary Mesa yeah. High, too. He played on the football team. I've seen him at our 20-year yeah. reunion. He was on that. He's at 20 years. Oh, was 20 years. Yeah. Nice. All right. Special guest, CJ. Let's just get into it. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's yeah, talk yeah. about All it. Right. All right. Perfect. I think one of the biggest things um, people reached out when they were doing Q&As is uh, your in and out profession. Yes, they want to know a lot. Yeah, we'll yes, go back sir. to Q&As, but I just want to talk about how you got to where you're at today. No, for so, sure. For sure. Well, first of all, shout out to Bruin Podcast. Shout hey, out to Jason hey, and hey. Brian. Especially this guy right here. Yeah, I see you know. <laughs> call me Kuya. <laughs> <laughs> call me Adding. Call me Kuya. Whoa, whoa. Do you call him Kuya? Yeah, yeah. Oh shit. Like, okay. Nice. Yeah. nice. No, that's why it's so weird when we were like hanging out socially, like I'm meeting his friends and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Everyone's like, art, art. I'm like, that's Kuya Jin. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah man. So In and Out Burger, let's see. Um, got hired back in 2014. Uh, it was oh, my nice. very first job. Yeah. Obviously, I was a high school cat. Uh, didn't really think much of it, but my sisters worked there. Okay. Um, they were actually, the way that in and out works is like, it's like a level system, right? So levels one through mm-hmm. seven. And then seven is kind of considered like the 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 shift, ma- not shift manager, but the shift lead. Okay. Right? All right. So they were up there in the ranks, both of them. I have two older sisters. And so, yeah, I kind of just hopped in, got hired. Didn't take it seriously probably until 2016. Cheers. Um 2016, um, I ended up moving locations. I got hired in Mayor Mesa, but moved locations nice. to Carlsbad. Okay. Right? So a little in and out oh. fun fact for you guys. <laughs> well, um, hold on. Shout out to Craig. I don't know if you know Craig. Craig? <laughs> yeah. yeah hey. Mayor Mesa. Craig. Craig. Okay. That's the boy. Craig and Christian, right? Christian. Oh, shout out to my boy Alcazar. <laughs> yeah. That's my boy. Oh. And his older oh. brother. And Sonny. Sonny. Hey, much love to work with what him. So I've never worked with Sonny before, okay. but I've heard stories Sunny, <laughs> I heard about you. Right. Um, but yeah, shout out to the Alcazars. Great family, great people. Much love, y'all. Um, yeah. But yeah, so, you know, I uh, got hired at Mary Mesa back in 2014. Uh, stayed there, but then in 2016, moved out to Carlsbad. Oh, wow. In and out, fun fact, uh, the different stores aren't called by their location, mm-hmm. but they're called by numbers. Yeah. So oh, okay. Mary Mesa is 68. 
Uh, and then um, one off. Carl's bad is dirty boy. <laughs> I know you. Sorry. Yeah. You perfect. What? Hey, hey, guess guess where Store sixty nine really is though. Where is it in San Diego? Oh, let's guess. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, Star 69. National City? <laughs> nah, that's actually okay. 70. Damn it. Like after. I feel like it's in I'm downtown. So Lemon Grove? Like somewhere around downtown? Nah, 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 nah. Uh, Lemon Grove. Is there an in in downtown? No, somewhere uh, around downtown. Like, Is it the one in Mission Valley? Sports? Sports? Nah, that's 128. Oh, yeah. Yeah, dude. So, Jarmo, please. All right. All right. Jarmo. Yeah. Store 69 yeah. is? Pacific Beach. Whoa. Oh, that makes sense. All right. All right. It makes sense, right? All right. Come on, now. Come on. Um, nice. but yeah, so yeah, store 68, store 68, and yeah. then uh, went out to Carlsbad in '89. Um, stayed out there for po- probably about two years. Uh, decided the drive was not worth it, oh. <laughs> especially yeah. during the summertime. And this is from where to where? Uh, from Mary Mesa, Mary Mesa to, to Carlsbad. Carlsbad. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah. yeah. That's, that's a, that's it a was drive. on the five, yeah, okay. exactly. That so it was, a, it was a little rough, but uh, me and my sisters were carpooling at the time, anyways, so it worked out, yeah. but at the same time, we're like, nah, dude, like, let's yeah. just go back home. Yeah. Um, so in 2019, that's when I decided to pursue, oh, pursue, um, in and out full time. Um, mm-hmm. and then went into the management development, uh, kind of, uh, I guess program, you get, I guess you would say, yeah. um, which is really cool, man. I think they do a great job as far as building leaders, mm-hmm. um, and molding the leaders of the company. And I think that's a testament to why they're so successful, you know? So, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, big, big shout out to them. Obviously, um, I feel like I had great mentors along the way. Um, so, shout out Mike Perez, Linda Arcega. <laughs> if I'm forgetting your name, don't hurt me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, don't take me off the schedule. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't come my bonus. <laughs> no, shout out Lindsay. That's my girl. Okay, bonuses? <laughs> yeah, Whoa, dude. okay. Yeah. What, is that, what yeah, does that look bro. like? Well, I, I just asked that because not too often, like, mm-hmm. Fast food gets bonuses, right? Yeah. So yeah. as far as bonuses, right? Like I think that's why In and Out as a company mm-hmm. does so well as yeah. far as taking care of their associates. Okay. You know, and upholding the standards that they do um, mm-hmm. by just taking care of their associates. You know, especially the managers as well. You know, yeah. I think when you're working in the restaurant business in general, mm-hmm. it's already hard enough as is with the hours that you're working, the mm-hmm. physical definitely. labor. Um, so definitely, like they take care of us. Um, yeah. As far as how those bonuses are allocated, y'all could do some research online. I know, I know, Reddit's like a great spot for uh, information. Ah, yeah. <laughs> um, he didn't hear it here. First. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, man, they definitely do take care of us. Um, but so our managers, they make bank, dude. Yeah. Is that, is that the goal? Is that where you want to head to? Yeah, no, for sure. I think there's different avenues that I could definitely take at this point, right? Um, so. Another way that In and Out is so successful is that we kind of have our own health department. It's something called QFC. Oh, um, nice. so that's another avenue too, where you're actually just an evaluator. You get <laughs> sent all around the country or to the different locations of In and Out. Okay, um, where they send you and they basically just evaluate yeah. you on your on your product, on your standards, QFC. cleanliness. It stands oh, for nice. quality. quality fucking control. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Yeah, no, straight up. It's, quality fried chicken? Uh, <laughs> quality, friendliness, and cleanliness. Okay. Uh, yeah. okay. Yes, oh, okay. Yes, oh, so you guys are big on that friendliness part, too. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Oh. So, like, that's yeah. what, that's, well, yeah. that's so funny because when we talk, when I, like, have an interview, right, mm-hmm. someone comes up to me and I'm like, hey, why do you choose In-N-Out Burger? Yeah. And then mo- 99% of the time, everyone's just like, yeah, everyone just seems like they're really happy here. Yeah. I'm in the back crying, like. What was this? Y'all want some salt on this patty? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> we gotta chop these onions ourselves. <laughs> but yeah, so um, uh, went into management 2019. Um, I got promoted to a third manager in 2020. Oh, congrats! Um, That's yes. a big jump. Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah. dude. Right, mean, right before the pandemic. <laughs> right before, no, it was crazy, dude. It was like oh. pandemic. I actually took time off because at the time my mom was um, a high risk individual. Oh, yeah. Okay. So makes sense. It was, and that's what's really cool about the company. Like, I didn't ask for that time off. They're like, "Hey, we know that your mom is." Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's like dope. exactly. Yeah. And they're like, "Hey, like obviously, yeah, vacation hours. Like, we're still gonna be allocating your bonuses to you. Obviously, yeah. you won't be getting paid your your hourly wage, but." Yeah. You know, just to keep your mom safe with what's going on, like, just take some time off. So I actually had, like, two, I want to say, like, two to three months off of work. Yeah. And, like, they were super cool and chill about it, you know. Is that when we met at the Padres game? Uh, Or is that a different time frame? That was last year. That was last year. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
2022. It's already been last year. Yeah, dude. Time's flying, dude. I forget it's 2023, man. What do you mean 2024 next? It's about to be 2024. Wait, that wasn't last year when me and him met. It was this year, right? It was this year. This year. This year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's Scripps night, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, that's my that's my that shirt's for my pantulo. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sleeves off. Yeah, dude. <laughs> that double that's how you do it, dude. That's how you do it. Shirt or blanket. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. All right. So yeah, become a manager. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So um, uh, it's it's a tier system too when it comes to the managers. Um, it goes four, three, two, which is like an assistant Whoa. manager, and then one is your store manager. <laughs> Oh, nice. Yeah. And if you ever want to know who the store manager is, it's the guy wearing the red apron. Oh, or girl. did not know that. Yeah, the long, the long boy. Okay. Oh, you know? oh yeah. okay. So he's head honcho. And it's like she. full on. I got yep. to look up oh. for that now. Okay, exactly. Yeah. Hey, you with the apron. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not happy with my burger. <laughs> Karen is ass, dude. <laughs> I'm just a peasant, dude. I'm still wearing the miniskirt. Yeah. So yeah. I want to give you props because. I think you talked about in and out being more than just burgers, fries, and shakes. Amen. Uh, that's what she wrote to. And I think the biggest thing is like that culture. There's, no, a, for sure. there's not a lot, especially especially when it's uh, I, just from my feel, it's um, employee focused. Exactly. Um, yeah. So let's talk about trainings um, outside of the store. What does that look like? So um, in and out is actually very adamant that we don't do anything outside of the store. Oh, okay. yeah. Everything's mm-hmm. Everything is in house. Yeah. In your own uh, exactly. shop. Okay. Yeah. But I mean, I feel like the reason why the culture is so strong mm-hmm. um, yeah. between associates and employees in general, anyone that's worked for in and out burger is because you get through it, dude. Oh, you know, yeah. you're, you're like, we're, we're going through it. We're getting All those smacked meals, up. Right? Oh, yeah. Exactly, yeah. dude. Like, especially during like nice. lunch rush, the dinner rush. Exactly, man. <laughs> And so or it's like the drive through during COVID yeah. only, you know? Yeah, no. dude. Yeah. Dude, Turn COVID in. times, like, even though I didn't work, like, the peak of those COVID times, like, I still got a little taste of it. And, dude, it sucked. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. It was rough. Like, people were going crazy, like, hey, you touched my straw. Like, oh, yeah. Uh, like, oh, that I want crazy. my yeah. order for free, yada, yada, this and this. And, Jeez, like, that. Yeah, man. That's I mean, I, I'll definitely tell you, like, if you've ever worked in the restaurant business, you for sure need oh, yeah. some patience. You know yeah. what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. I'd be praying the rosary sometimes. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Looking like, hey, Arnold with my hey, fist. <laughs> Wait, Arthur, no, Arthur, 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 Arthur. Arthur. <laughs> I was like, Ar- hey, Arnold, football head? Yeah. <laughs> uh, wrong, wrong cartoon. Yeah. Wrong yeah, right. Right. <laughs> Sorry, uh, well, yeah, I mean, like, you know, with any, like, customer facing. You know, oh, yeah. Thing, it's always customer service. Yes. Yeah. Like, yeah. hella patience. Yeah, man. People just be like people sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, back to your question. Like, I think definitely just going through the grind together. Um, yeah. And in and out just is very different when it comes to, like, lingo and, like, mm-hmm. oh, yeah. things that, right? Like, we as employees know what we go through on a day-to-day basis. Yeah. And yeah. we all respect that about each other, you know? Oh, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Um, but as far as, like, outside training, it's not necessarily. But uh, Lindsay, our owner, does, like, Definitely take care of us. Like every year, we get a Christmas gift Ooh, from her from specifically. Her. Yeah, dude. So Aye. this okay. year, like, it's like, hey, you better <laughs> not skip this year. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we just found out uh, what we got this year. Um, it's a waffle maker. What? What the heck? Uh, All right. Waffle, that waffle maker? maker. Yep. And then yeah. I was about to say, I was about to ask, like, what kind of gifts do they usually get? Yeah, yeah dude. It, last year just... we got like a tumbler. Um, oh, nice. Then that's expensive for every person. Yeah, dude. Oh, coming probably, out of her. Yeah. Per- no, yeah, straight that's up. That's a lot. Huh. Yeah, dude. Shout out to your boss, dude. Dude, yeah. for real. Yeah. And we Good during, boss. Yeah. during the summer, we hold like uh, these family picnics. I hear about those. Oh, yes. And you can win a lot of uh, prizes as well. Dude, yeah, yeah. dude. You should be throwing TVs into the crowd. I'm <laughs> like, hey, got you, girl. you can bring plus threes or uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> if, Sorry, we have, if we have a family you. together, I got you. Yeah, I haven't got with you yet, man. Come on. We're supposed to go. I know, we were supposed to go. All of, actually sudden, family. all of a sudden. All of a sudden. All of a sudden, huh? Yeah, exactly. Oh, man. You know what? I think, I think Touchy we, subject. I think we were... Uh, <laughs> There was a reason why we didn't go. I think we were just a little tired or something from like a hike or something. Something yeah. like that. Yeah, something yeah, like that. You know, we're just we're traveling. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was it was kind of far though, right? Aren't they like it's uh, like a Santa Anita racetrack? That's usually where it's held. Where's that? Oh, where, yeah, where's that? At? Freaking far. <laughs> like probably Anita? like an hour or two away, dude. Like east or something or north? north. It's in like LA. Oh, LA. Okay, it's LA. Okay. Yeah. 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 Jeez, with the traffic and everything, dude, it's gnarly for sure. But then that's the thing about In and Out too is that yes, it's considered like SoCal mm. like vibe and stuff like that. But the roots of In and Out Burger is in Baldwin Park, yeah. So LA oh. like deep in the cut, you okay. know. Okay. Um, so In and Out was established when? 
1948. 1948. Yes, sir. Yeah. It's actually know that. Okay. We're actually celebrating our 75th anniversary this year. Wow. Nice. nice. What does that look like? So right now it's super cool. I don't know if you guys have been got into the, any of the stores. What's up? <laughs> you got custom cups and stuff. No, we actually have um, custom name tags. Oh. oh yeah. yeah. So okay. if uh, if you look very closely, some associates will have like a 75th anniversary logo on top of their name on the name tag. Oh, nice. And then if okay. you guys buy one of the shirts this year on the back, it's a 70, uh, it says 75 and there's like a mosaic of like different important people when it comes to in and out and oh, super cool. cool. Super, right, super nice. nice. I was like, do you get a discount? <laughs> next, next episode, discount, we're all wearing yeah. one. Yeah, we're all, we're all wearing one. <laughs> In and out socks. Hey, some in and out merch yeah. though. It was kind of hard though. Oh, yeah. those vans that they they got yeah. drops. They got vans. Yeah, bro. No, yeah. they got vans. Are... Socks. Is that sold out? It just depends on what, like, well, if they have some in stock. But we'll, some we'll talk yeah. later. Yeah. 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 I got this you, dog. Guy. Yeah. I got you, dog. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. Alex has a pair of those, dude. Does it? Yeah. Fresh. Yeah. yeah, dude. They have like freaking hamburger panties, dude. Like, yeah. oh, damn. <laughs> well. Uh, like edible panties? Uh, <laughs> tastes like fries. <laughs> Come, Imagine. Me, hey, oily. Don't worry, about, don't worry about the salt. I got you, girl. <laughs> shoot. It's underneath. Oh, shoot. Too lubricated. Mm, dying. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> One thing about working with uh, working in fast food is mm-hmm. that physical labor. There's a lot of stigma mm-hmm. to fast food as well. Yeah. People are like, yeah. oh, you work at McDonald's? Oh, you work at here? I used to work at Jollibee, and, and sometimes I would get that face like... You know, like you work at you Jolly. work at Jolly C's, dude. dude Jolly, <laughs> when they first opened up in Mira Mesa, and, really? and I feel like that's where you like you learn that hard work Amen. and you do physical labor. Amen. You yeah. appreciate it more, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And you treat others a little bit more when you go into these establishments, absolutely, like, with more respect. Yeah. Exactly, mm-hmm. right? Like, and that's my question sometimes when it comes to like people when they're fired up. I get it. You're angry, mm-hmm. you know. But it's like, dang, dude, like these people are making your food. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean, like. It's just like bottom line. It's just as respect. Yeah. At the end yeah, of the day, yeah, it's just yeah. respect, right? But obviously, like shout out to the customer. We're nothing without you. Thanks for supporting me and my family. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it's, it's family fair. Huh? I'm probably family, family. I need, I need, I'm, I need I'm, some in and out. we should hey, just we should go, out here. Yeah, right? yeah. Hey. <laughs> What time what? they open? <laughs> 10 o'clock, baby. Yeah, 10 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. 10 uh, open, man. 2, right? Or something? What's that? Yeah, dude. So, Mon- or, sorry, Sunday through Thursday, Thursday, we are open from 10 a.m. to 1 a.m. Okay. And then Friday, Saturday, we're open until 1.30 a.m. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. It's always been like that, yeah, I think. So, let's talk about, I don't I don't know if everyone knows about this, but I, I noticed in the past years, I, I don't even know if they still do it, but there's a, a biblical verse on so, what type of cup. Did you guys know that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like underneath, I'm yeah. See, yeah, it's like at the the bottom, right? Is it John three sixteen? No. <laughs> Is it John three <laughs> sixteen? Um, I think it, it varies sometimes. Oh, but it varies. I think the the yeah, the what the one that everyone is like used to seeing is John three sixteen. Okay. Um, but yeah, yeah. In and Out is a Christian company. Um, I did not know. Yeah, that. and it's privately owned, and Lindsay is our owner. Um, oh, nice. Yeah. So I think that's why sometimes we. We get some very diehard people that are like, yeah, dude, like they're a Christian company. Yeah. This, this, and this, uh-huh. and this. They and come like, after church, right? Yeah, exactly, dude. Okay. Dressed to the nines. Yeah. Uh-huh. With their Bible in hand. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> but, okay. Yeah. I mean, what else? Give it up for faith. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, dude. I'm going to hell. <laughs> oh, dude. At least it'll be warm. I've already picked a good spot. <laughs> You RSVP, yeah, dude. <laughs> On the left, left shoulder of Devil himself. No, wow! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> you see what we got yeah. Sometimes, but let's talk about some of the most challenging things working at uh, In and Out. Yeah, let's go challenging, sure. and then the most rewarding. Rewarding, cool, cool. Um, most challenging, obviously, is the schedule and the physical labor, okay. right? So I think scheduling wise, like you're not gonna have your Saturday Sundays off. You oh, know, wow, exactly. Is this just for supervisors or in general? In general, yeah. Oh, I did not All know throughout. that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, so scheduling is definitely tough. You definitely need to have a partner and or a family that understands yeah. what it's like to have that kind of schedule. Okay. Um, and like, especially respect to the store managers that do it, just because like you're gonna miss birthdays, you're gonna miss mm. baptisms, you're gonna miss. Everything you know, that happens on a weekend. Everything that happens on the weekend. You know <laughs> yeah. what I mean? And like definitely yeah. you have to plan out your life one month in advance when your schedule is made. 
Um, wow. So I'm not like, yeah, that is probably the most difficult part. And if there was one thing I would want to change about my job, it would be that. Yeah, but that unfortunately, special. that's just not the business, right? Yeah. Um, physical labor is definitely a hard one. Yeah. Um, so yeah, a little story is this past year, I actually got Bell's Palsy. Um, oh, what is that? Yeah, thank you for sharing. Yeah, that, yeah. so Bell's Palsy is actually a viral infection or shingles in your ear. For me, it was shingles in my ear. It was a viral infection oh. that attacked the facial nerves in my face. And my face was actually um, half paralyzed. Mm. Oh, damn. Yeah. So the thing about this sickness, it actually varies from individual to individual. Yeah. As far as like, it's not like a sickness where like, hey, you have a cold, cold in about mm. two weeks, you should be okay. Right. right. Yeah. Um, after talking to like other people that have had Bell's palsy, some like they got their full facial uh, mobility back within like a week or a month or a couple of weeks. But for me, it actually is still not 100 percent. OK. Um. I would say I'm probably like at 75, 80 percent. Yeah. Um, and it's been since April. So what is that like seven, eight months? Yeah, it's like eight months. Eight months. Yeah. Right. So if you guys could check it out, if you see my smile. <laughs> yeah. Which camera? Yeah. This camera? Yeah, that one right there. Yeah. Yeah. So well, I mean, about it? it looks like a, a slight little smirk. It's like it's like yeah. Two Face from Batman. Exactly. Yeah. That's <laughs> oh, like when, when, hey, yeah. Yeah. Hey, when it first happened, dude, oh, it I was, was like looking, that, right? I was looking like Harvey Dent, bro. Yeah. It, was, <laughs> it was rough, dude. Yeah, the Filipino about, version, right? <laughs> like, hey, Phantom of the Opera. Yeah. When you took, yeah. <laughs> it's like, don't react, don't react. Well, <laughs> what's up, dude? <laughs> Was that you, Art? Yeah. All right, so he's gonna tell you a story about oh. the first time he oh saw my me. Gosh. Yeah, so wait, so let me let me just get yeah, a picture real quick, right? Okay, so like, okay. <laughs> so yeah, half my face was paralyzed. Yeah, um, it's like heavy. Yeah, like it's it tended to droop on Is that this the side. eyes too. The eye, I could not blink my eye. Yeah. I would oh, manually what? have to blink my eye. Oh jeez. And it, if yeah. not, it would just stay open. Yeah. Whoa. And Damn. then so when you wink at a girl, you do this. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, bro. Not full. I would just use my other eye because I'd be wearing an eye patch. Oh, yeah. oh, you would. I would like. Dang, if it Nick was like Fury. Yeah, yeah dude. Nick okay. Fury eyes for yeah. sure. But when I, I when I would sleep, I would have to tape my eyes shut. Oh, oh otherwise yeah. it just flies over. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. dude. Um, so I was like super nervous. Like, dang, dude, is this gonna affect my eyesight? Yeah. Um, another rough part about it was since the infection was in my ear. When your ear is messed up, your oh, balance. balance yep. yeah. So it was like, dude, I felt like I was 98 years old having vertigo, dude. Like oh, the wow. world was spinning. I couldn't drive. I couldn't. I didn't drive for probably about like, I want to say like two months, dude. Yeah, it was rough. That's nuts. Um, and then obviously, like once the actual like symptoms started dying down. Yeah. Um, because I was feeling pain from mm. my the crown of my head all the way to my trap. Ooh. Right oh here. wow and it was just like like yeah. shots of like pain going through your nerves yeah exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. and then yeah. so that died down but then my face started to feel sore because i could feel like oh sh it's like stuck. it's stuck yeah you know what i mean um so that was probably the worst part about it all like i was getting used to the fact like all right dude like this sucks my face is kind of ugly you know what i mean yeah. but it's like dude what can i do you know? yeah um and that's the thing about the sickness is that until nerve reconstruction or nerve regeneration is mm. understood and figured out, yeah. you just have to let time heal. Oh, it's mm. just the wait it out. Exactly. Of. And then so and then now also let you have that time off, like with pay or what did that look like? Um so unfortunately it wasn't supportive with pay. But okay. obviously I had like my sick hours and my vacation yeah. hours that I was able to utilize. Nice. Yeah. Um but I definitely had to go through the E D D route. Uh, just because it oh, was a, a medical condition, yeah. Um, yeah. but they were definitely understanding of the That's situation. Good. Like they, they knew that, like, hey, this is definitely not something you wanted, yeah. and they oh, supported yeah. me through it. You Who know what I mean? That? Exactly. <laughs> and this conversation came from HR or your boss? Um, everyone. Everyone. Yeah. So f That's from That's a whole team. from yeah. support up top yeah. all the way to uh, on the manager levels. Yeah. Um, but yeah, dude. I mean, I was super grateful for their support as well. You know, um, they were just like, hey, whenever you're ready to come back. Just let us know. Even when I did come back there, like I actually tried to go back to work in July. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. but it was still just too fast paced for me. Like yeah. I would get to the point where um I'd be moving around. I'm just like, first of all, I'm fat now. So I can't <laughs> I'm not used to standing on my feet for like eight hours a day. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then two, um, yeah, dude, I would start to get my dizziness again and be like, dude, I don't I don't know if I could do this real quick. So it took a Another three months off until September, and that's now I'm back. Nice. Yes, welcome yeah. back. Yeah, dude. So, yeah. um, 
back to the story <laughs> yeah, yeah, about story. when uh, he first saw me. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because he told me he had it, right? And I was like, oh, what? And then, like, you know, I knew a little bit about it or whatever, just, like, barely. But he said, like, oh, yeah, like, my like half of my face is, you know, <clears> like, um, and I was like, oh, well, I, it's probably not that bad. <laughs> 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 like, in my head, right? I was like, oh, so yeah. I just imagined, like, his face, but, like, just not moving. Oh. <laughs> right? Yeah. Just, just like, you know, Frozen. just like a regular, like, when you're just not reacting to anything. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I go to this family party, and I see him, and I was just like, oh. <laughs> like how loud? Like across, no, like across the room? In my head. Yeah, oh, my head. Okay. I looked, I was like, <gasps> Yeah. Whoa. Dude. Cause it was like really like it was it was like not just like stuck, it was like in a way where it felt like it was like almost like tense. Like, yeah. yeah. Oh tense. You know? like, I, I thought yeah. I imagined like melting. <laughs> yeah, it was just kinda like, yeah, it just looked different, right? And I was like, whoa, dude. I was like, dang, that was crazy. Like Yeah. But you know You said what's up? <laughs> Yeah. So, okay, so you see that look right there, right? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. The eyebrows are raised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Art's, art signature look. Yeah. So that's probably one of the like most funniest parts about like having Bell's palsy and like seeing how people would react to me, mm-hmm. and like it's like it's like one of those things where it's just like, fool, I know you're looking. At my face. <laughs> yeah. So funny story. You can't right? hide it. So I, I haven't gone out right for like probably like three months or something. In my homies, since you had it, right? yeah, since I had it, right. Yeah, and like my June. homies, my homies are like, dude, let's go. Come on, bro. Like you need to go out. Like it'll be good for you. Like I'm like, much love, dude. You know what? You're right. Let's go out. Okay. Yeah. So Support. We go, yeah. We go out to park and wreck. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so you know what, dude? So like, where's park and wreck for the for those that are um. Li- Tuning in audio, park and rec. Uh, park and rec. Honestly, I don't know where it is because <laughs> by the time that I'm pulling up, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm really feeling like some type of way. It's, it's like, like a hillcrest, right? Yeah, like Hill north normal, of Hill, normal, normal heights. heights is that yeah. Normal heights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. North Park. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I, just tell, I just tell the Uber to take me there. <laughs> <laughs> so you go. You guys go there. Yeah, we go yeah. there. Hickeys mm. and Dry Humps is a great night to go to if you don't yeah. know what that's about. Hickey and Dry. Okay. Yeah, and then what's the other one? It's like Hickeys. Yeah, Hickeys and Dry Humps. Okay. What's, <laughs> what's the nuts? No, no, no. no, no, no. Are these theme nights or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah so okay. it's, um, like throwback, like R and B kind oh, of nights. Oh, got it. Yeah, and sometimes there's like those ass shaking nights. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> but yeah, so we we went out there for uh, hickeys and dry humps or, or something like that, and I'm just vibing. You know what I mean? Like I'm having a good time, yeah. sipping on my my drink and stuff like that. And this girl comes up to me and she's like, "Hey, like, I'm so sorry, but." Are you okay? <laughs> oh no! And I was like, in my head, I was like, oh, here we go. Yeah. All right, here yeah. we go. I was like, yeah. I was like, and I just smiled at her, or should I say, half, half smile? Yeah, <laughs> I got you. I got you. Smirk. I, yeah. I smirked. Smirk, yeah. I smirked at her, and I was like, yeah. Why? What's up? And she's like, so I'm I'm a nurse, and I just wanted to make sure that you weren't having a stroke. And I was like, oh, not a stroke, but since you're a nurse, what do I have? And she's like. Bell's palsy. Jeez. Ding, 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 ding. Hold yeah. on. Let me guess now. Was she Filipino? Yeah. Oh, I already know, dude. That's a 50% chance. 50% chance. Hey, in San Diego, Honestly, it's, it's like a 90% chance. Yeah, it's like a 90% chance. chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I, th- I just thought that was a funny, uh, interesting story. You know what I mean? Which yeah. is super cool, man. Like, I mean, obviously she had good intentions and oh, stuff definitely. like that. Right, right. She didn't mean anything. Yeah, that, yeah. And I'm like super grateful for it, too. Right. You know, I appreciated it. Um, but I just, I, it's always so funny when I see people's reactions yeah. when I first like, had it and it was really bad and it's yeah. just like damn dude i didn't realize i was that ugly <laughs> uh, it's like he was stuck in like a fool mode like he's like a hey, fool like, I, I, I was like stuck i was like it was dude and what's crazy is like my eye would just like tear up like heavy dude yeah, like the one that the one that didn't yeah, blink obviously because yeah. i'm not blinking and stuff yeah. and like i'm just like i literally like was like this <laughs> like one was stuck open. yeah um I'll, I'll i'll slide you some pictures okay, so maybe I'll you throw, it, throw it on there uh, yeah. throw it up Right maybe here, maybe on yeah, Brian's yeah. side. No, no, it'd be like, it'd be like maybe just put like right, right here. So yeah, right there. Just put it over his Comparison. face. <laughs> 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 over his face, dude. For the for the rest of the episode. Just, oh, make, just, make, it like, just make it like flash back and forth. Yeah. And hey, you know how they have those, <laughs> those filters yeah. on Instagram now? But it's just gonna be a Bell's palsy filter oh, 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 oh. on all of us. <laughs> all. It just moves. I'm dead, dude. <laughs> Well, yeah, man, I think that's probably one of the biggest things I've learned from, like, whenever something big like this happens to you, like, in a medical standpoint, is, like, first of all, like, you know who's, like, down for you, you know, like, you definitely know, like, where your support and love comes from, Mm -hmm. and, like, obviously, shout out to my PAC right here, my guy. (laughs) Uh, Wait, PAC or PIC? PIC. Okay, I thought I heard PAC for some reason. That was the Bell's (laughs) palsy. 
It affected my speech too. Yeah. My bad. Oh wait, how how does one even get Bell's palsy in the first place? Oh, like how does that stress induced? Yeah, stress. Yeah, dude. Oh, stress. stress. Yes. Really. So back oh, to like shit. that one comment you said about yeah. like what's one of the challenges? Obviously, was when it comes right. to work is like I feel like definitely like the stress and the fatigue was you know your body's always going to keep score right yeah yeah so i think it was just god's way of telling me like hey dog you need to slow down mm -hmm. knowing that that brought you a lot of stress mm -hmm. what are you doing on the opposite on the opposite side to definitely you know, take i think care of yourself yeah no for sure i think um reflecting on it i'm just that type of person i'm that type of manager and leader mm -hmm. where i definitely internalize and i definitely want to make sure everyone else is okay yeah you know um, but I've now, uh, now I understand that, Hey, some things are out of my control and sometimes things just need to get done, you know, and it needs to not, needs to not get done just by me, you know? Yeah. yeah. So obviously like delegating, right? Oh, definitely. Um, oh yeah. But <laughs> yeah. I've always prided myself on being like the hardest worker in the room. Yeah. Um, but I've learned that it doesn't need to always necessarily come in the form of physical labor. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and yeah, I think that's the most important part, especially when it comes to, yeah. you know, just changing my lifestyle, changing, yeah. changing the way they think about things. And then when you talk about uh, being the hardest worker, is that more of a cultural thing or is that something that you grew up? Like, who taught you that? Definitely. Not yeah. everyone has that mentality. Yeah, as well. I think uh, I think it's definitely something I learned from my dad. Oh, nice. You okay. know, my dad, uh, he grew up in the farm. Yeah. Shout out to your dad. What's your dad's name? Shout out to my pops, Joe Miguel. <laughs> Joe Miguel. Okay. Yeah. For you guys don't know, that's what my middle name is, Joe. I go Christian Joe. Christian Joe. CJ. Uh, there CJ, you go. yep. Origins, yes. Yeah. Exactly, right. <laughs> and I'm Filipino. I have to have yeah. two first names. Two first names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my dad's freaking, all of, all my life, he's always had two jobs, oh, you know. Um, always got up at 5 a.m., mm -hmm. doesn't come home until 10 a.m., or 10 p.m., sorry. <laughs> I was like, all right, five hours. Hey, that's a question. Yeah. Yeah. This lazy ass motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, 5 a.m., 10 p.m. Yeah. He's a work hard worker, two yeah. jobs. Yeah. 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 I think. Yeah. Uh, Good father. It's, it's yeah. definitely like a cultural thing, too, right? Like his his pops whipped him into shape. Yeah. Like he would tell stories about like how he would have to like feed all the farm animals. Okay. He wasn't allowed to come back home oh, for breakfast yeah, until sounds... everything was taken care of. Uh, and if, yeah. my, if my grandpa ever found out that he um you know came back home early or didn't like take care of a task yeah he would beat him up oh yeah definitely. <laughs> you know yeah. what i mean yeah. what part of the philippines um is your family from so uh, my mom's a city girl so she was okay. she's from kawit kavite nice so that's probably i would say like 20 30 minutes or our family's 20 30 minutes outside of manila yeah mm -hmm. um uh, and then my dad he's from pampanga so he's oh, nice. yeah. yeah so yeah, more rural, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, dude, my dad, shout out to my dad. Definitely one of my biggest inspirations for sure. Um, I think I take off take up my hard work after him. Okay. And I take off or take up my social side from my mom for sure. Oh, 100%. Nice. I think he could attest to that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> but, yeah, man. That's I, both worlds, though. Yeah. For real. For real, for real. So, let's talk about, I know... We haven't dived into your musical side yet. Yeah, man. Um, it was funny because I was talking to Art. Uh, we're talking about like guests and everything. And then um, I was like, oh, let's get your cousin CJ. CJ the DJ. And then, <laughs> and then Art goes, you know what? He actually DJs. I was <laughs> like, what? <laughs> oh, you were just joking about it. No, I was just joking because okay. it rhymed, right? Yeah, yeah, right, right. Okay. Um, but let's talk about that. Your love for music. And then what got you into DJing? No, for That's sure. definitely a hard skill to pick up. So music is def definitely runs in our family. Uh, so... With his dad, my mom, their brother and sister, um, okay. back in their hometown, like like marching band or band in general and playing musical instruments is just mm -hmm. embedded in us, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, my, our grandpa played trumpet. Uh, my cousin played trumpet. Damn, you guys just passed that along. No. Because <laughs> he played trumpet too. Yeah. Literally, yeah. You just passed I, it along. I, literally, yeah. I got it's his old family. trumpet. Oh, yeah, shoot. like I would give him like, my old trumpet yeah. to stuff as he was going. Straight up. Okay. So I played trumpet for about 14 years. Jeez, that's a hard Since. instrument to play. That's one of the hardest if people don't know. It's a lot of combinations. Yeah. Only three buttons. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's also. In the lip. the lip too, yeah. Exactly. All in the lip. That's, that's where the magic happens, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ladies, they are single. Yeah, exactly. these two are single. Um, what's your number, Art? Eight five eight. 
nah. <laughs> nah, nah. If anyone wants to double date, <laughs> and then we can follow up on the pod how that date went. Or they can take you to Paris. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, back to uh, play the yeah, trumpet. You got a paper roll ticket, though. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Oh, I meant, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wait, mean, <laughs> oh, like actual Paris? Wait, the Eiffel Tower? Or, or like Paris, P E R R I S. It's Paris, California. Paris, Paris. Paris. No, Paris Baguette. No, no. Oh. It, it wasn't a place. <laughs> it's not so a place. <laughs> I'll, I'll explain later. Yeah, explain Is it later. a sexy time feeling? Do I gotta bleep this out, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to uh, playing trumpets. Oh yeah, so yeah, yeah I played for fourteen years, dude. Um, I did the whole. Amber Mesa. Yeah, Amber played... Mesa, dog. Oh damn! I was marching actually band? marching band, and I was the drum major. So oh, drums too. No, no. So drum major is yeah. if you ever watch like the the parades, I'm uh-huh. the guy in the front with the stick. Oh, okay. Keeping time. Yeah. Keeping yeah. time. You oh, know, that's what they do. Yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. I did not know that. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I played, yeah, I that's played fair. throughout high school. Um, I actually received a scholarship uh, to state to actually be in band to pursue music. Oh. But okay. shit was just expensive, dude. Wait, yeah. so you graduated yeah. in Mesa what year? Class, uh, 24, of? class of 2014. 2014. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shoot. Oh. It's about to be your uh, 20 year. Oh, ten no, year. 10 year. 10 year. 2004. Just because you had your 2034, baby. We're the same year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so my 10 year anniversary baby. is coming okay. up. Um, it's funny, dude. Like, all the homies are like hitting me up because uh, I was freshman, sophomore, and junior class president. And then my senior year, I was ASB president. And they're all like, hey, our 10 year oh, real, or 10 year reunion is coming up. What are we doing? What are we doing? And I'm like, Hey, fool, by technicality, the class president of the senior year does takes care of that. I was just your AZB president. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, I mean, hey, Phoebe Liggs, come on, girl. 10-year reunion. Yeah, come what on, What are we girl. doing? Come on, girl. <laughs> come on. I think I love you. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool that you were involved in high school. Yeah, like, man. Yeah, extracurricular. I think, yeah. uh, I think it was important. You know what I mean? Like, it was just like, hey, man, like, I'm going to make the most of this. Yeah. Like. I get it. People are always looking forward to like the next big play for like, hey, like I'm tired of this. I just want to be an adult, yada yada. I'm yeah. like, well, why not have fun doing it? Right. Yeah. 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 A part of that was that watching your Koya grow up and him getting involved in a lot of these things too. Oh no, for sure, dude. Really? I th- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the oh, part shit. where we had it. <laughs> you know what? So it's funny, man. I think uh, I think me and my Kuya's uh, relationship is like, I was definitely like the annoying cousin. It was me and my younger cousin, Chris. Shout out, Chris. Oh, we heard about him in the last episode, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, did we? The Moster episode. I'll bleep his name out. Yeah. I'll bleep his name out. <laughs> but yeah, I mean... Kuya Jin was like the cool Kuya, you know, he's oh. like, you know, like obviously like that's just his like demeanor, like very like quiet, like <laughs> hanging back, you know, just kicking it in the background. But whenever he speaks, it's like brings the house down with laughter. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but I think. Just that guy. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Good uh, job, Art. <laughs> just, 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 doing me, just doing me. Just doing me. Hey, don't give him too big a head. Yeah. <laughs> but real I think back, it, real back. It just runs in our family too. I think okay. our family is just very like involved. Like especially like my sisters too. I yeah. have uh, two older sisters. Shout out Ates, Ate Che, Ate Jonah. Love yeah. you guys. Mm-hmm. Um, but they've always taught me like, hey dude, like you have a natural talent to be like social. Like you're outgoing. Like make sure you utilize that. You know, yeah. Mm. So I think, uh, I think they were definitely like my inspirations as far as like, hey, just have fun, go do it. If you're gonna do it, do it well. You yeah. Know? Mm-hmm. So dang, good, good uh, upbrings, good mm-hmm. uh, support system. Definitely very blessed, man. Yeah. So let's go into your DJ side then. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My bad, my bad. That was the whole point of this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so the DJing Super side, DJ. so right, so like uh, that's my musical. Like I, w- I've always needed like a musical outlet, right? Yeah. So I stopped yeah. playing, and I felt like I wasn't really doing anything musically for like a while, you mm-hmm. know. Like so, when COVID came up, I was like, dang, dude, like screw it, I'm gonna just invest. I'm gonna get some some gear. And oh, this is gonna... recent. Okay, yeah, dude. So back in 2020. Yeah. And actually, me and Alcazar, me uh, and Christian, which one? Oh, Christian, me and okay. Christian, like we picked it up together, and we're like, dude, let's oh. go, let's just oh, run he it. DJs? Yeah, he DJs too. He okay. has his own set. I actually, uh, for his birthday, I got him some decks. When oh, nice. nice, yeah, dude. Um, I play on an SB. Uh, was it what, three? Yeah. You know, <laughs> SBC. Are they from Temu or what? <laughs> <laughs> How do you not know uh, the name? Temu. I don't know, dude. I'm just, I, I'm just out here to play music, dude. But. Uh, <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, and shout out to my other homies too, um, Austin and Mark. Uh, they actually are they DJ out in like bars and like restaurants oh, from nice. time to time. Like, okay. and they're and they're freaking good too, dude. Um, but yeah, so I started in COVID. Just needed that music outlet. Um, yeah. I like to DJ R and B and hip hop mostly. Nice. Uh, nice. Haven't really meddled too much into EDM because it's okay. it's just so broad, you yeah. know. It's like, yeah. mm. a lot of music. It's a lot, you know. But I like that booty shaking music. Like how? Like Put your home, pick your back. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your uh, DJ name? The, actually, dude, this is a this has been on the forefront of my mind for oh, actually a really long time. Yeah. You know, like I could go the route of CJ the DJ. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or actually, yeah. I could just straight up just go CJ. Okay. You know, yeah. Um, but I've always thought that if I'm ever gonna have like a title like that's in front of like my DJ stand or something, it's just gonna be my phone number. Uh-huh. <laughs> Let us know in the comments if that's a good idea yeah. or if you got suggestions for his uh, exactly. DJ name. Yeah, yeah shout yeah. out. So where do you um, want to take um the DJ part? DJ. Um, honestly, dude, like it's definitely just like a personal musical okay. outlet thing. Right. Um, yeah. I've thought about going the route like, hey man, definitely can I go full fledged with this and like. You know, I talked about it with my friends. Like, hey, yeah. dude, like we could create a company where, like, hey, you're in oh, charge of this God. thing, this, this thing, like this weddings thing. and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, and and we've considered it, and but I think for me personally, it's just more of like, hey, I just want to have fun with it because yeah. as soon as a, a hobby or a passion starts becoming a chore, that's the part yeah. that sucks. Mm. You know, yeah. I feel yeah. Like on that. Not all your hobbies need to be monetized. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Amen. But props if you do. You know, yeah. don't don't let that stop yeah. you. Give it a shot. Yeah, <laughs> we're taking shots <laughs> yeah, no. wait, wait, wait. <laughs> hey man uh, you, don't you gotta get to work yeah i do oh, you, you have work today <laughs> yes sir i do oh, shoot. what time's work um closing so manager shifts if you work in the morning it's 8 a.m to 5 30 p.m every single day okay okay and then if you close it's 4 30 until whatever time we close that day uh, oh God, so it. today would be like what yeah, it would be 1 30 no i'm probably out i'll be home probably in I'll be home by like 2.30. Okay, that's what it is, yeah. All right, uh, next portion of the podcast, we're at our random fun. We play games on the show, such as Ooh. this or that. Would you rather name your price? One must go. Pick your poison. Seven. Most likely two. Poison. This episode, we're playing <laughs> pick your poison. Now let's uh, play. Uh, all right. How did I know? So we're going to start. So how we play this. Poison. <laughs> <laughs> How we play this game is uh, you're gonna pick one or the other, um, and we'll go in rounds. We'll start oh, off with our guest, yeah. cool, and cool. then we'll go Brian, and then down here. Okay, yeah. all right, let's run it. Pick your poison: fight an ostrich to the death, or fart every time you kiss someone. Oh, shit. Ooh. Dude, that's like one of those dilemma questions too, right? Oh, hey, because you know like, why? Like, I don't care if ostriches are <laughs> like in danger, bro. I'm not gonna. <laughs> but they could throw down, dog. Yeah, I know, man. Yeah. Oh, they can, they can okay, but it's like I already been in a fight with. Them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, so wait, but like then you fart? Stuff, is it right? like? Is it like like you just ripped ass? Like, it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it right. a sneaky fart? Yeah, yeah. Can you <laughs> like? Can you can you dictate how the fart? No, happens? it's random. Okay, so oh, it's oh, random. It's random. <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes it's silent and deadly. Some, and sometimes, sometimes it's just loud. Yeah. ripped ass. Yeah, yeah. But it's not the same fart. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. So CJ, dang dude, honestly. I would say I would fart every time I kiss someone. Oh, yeah? But no, but for real, honestly, <laughs> fart every single time. Okay, the reason why I say this is because <laughs> this girl I used to date, the very uh, first time that we kissed, I fucking burped in her mouth. Oh! <laughs> and it was not, like, intentional, huh? dude. Like, I guess I was getting riled up. Yeah. You're you're be nervous. Yeah, 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 dude. Yeah, so I'm, like, yeah. looking at her, like, don't kiss me, Brian. Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> Do it for the podcast. <laughs> Mo that. <laughs> but yeah, dude. So like, we're like, we make contact lips. Wait, how, how old were you? Uh, this yeah, was probably was this? like in 2020. This oh, is, you this recent. Is, okay. Oh, this recent. is okay. A, yeah. This is my ex. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Bleep out the name Voldemort. Oh. <laughs> Wait, is that her name? <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, you we, straight up burp, like was it like a yeah? Set us up like what, yeah, did, that, yeah. what did that look yeah, like? Yeah, dude. So like we're I'm a visual kind of guy. Yeah, <laughs> Brian. So so, <laughs> so like we're about to like make contact with their lips, and as soon as I do, what no, was was it like a first date or like a no? This is this is probably like we've is this a brand you, new mic? Or? <laughs> yeah. He's gonna like it's start the tugging the mic. <laughs> next, next mic has this like saran wrap. On. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, you know I'm a trumpet player. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> um, but right. yeah, these so are like make contact. 2020, make contact. Okay. And then freaking we were kissing, yeah. and then I just burped, and I couldn't stop it. Wait, where's this at? Oh, so man. you're kissing are you in the, this is, in the this car? Is, this, is in the, this is in my room. In your room. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I mean, it's thank, thank so it's for, kissing, yeah. making out. Which one? Yeah. Right, we're making, making out. Okay, yeah, making out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I can exactly. tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Did it happen like right away? Did it happen like right away? Or was it like you you were into it a little bit? And no, it just yeah. So we're into it a little bit, right. and then it, I burped. But the thing is, respect to her, she didn't really talk about it. You she just like, moment, like <laughs> you know what I'm saying. But I was like, I don't worry, that happens all the time. <laughs> <laughs> a little throw up here and there. You know what I'm saying. But it's like one of those burps where like you know it was spicy because it was coming out your it's nose. It's like a Longanisa right? burp. What did you eat? Yeah, bro. Yeah, well, yeah, bro. What did you eat? It wasn't a Longanisa burp. It was, okay. a, it was a Tocino burp. Oh, oh no. no. Man, that's the worst. Man, I was close, was like, yeah. man. I was close. And then after you guys were making it out, she's like, damn, I want breakfast. <laughs> I'm like, what's up, girl? You already had eggs, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh wait, no. wait, wait, wait! So, so, so it happened, and so like it you, just, you, you just, you just continued. We just continued, it, right? But then, hey, but my professor, you know, like, later on I, that day, yeah. she was like, "Hey, oh, she talked." To you. She's like, "Hey, like you burped in my mouth," huh? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "Do it again." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. So yeah, that's why I would fart and you kiss everyone every single time. Ladies, let us know in the comments if you wouldn't mind that. Yeah, would mind yeah, that. Let us yeah. know. Let us know, ladies. <laughs> well, also let us know if that's happened to you. Yeah. Throw, it, throw it down in the comments. Yeah. Share that story. Yeah, share sure. your story of your worst kiss. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, dude! Why didn't ostrich to death? Yeah, all the, all that came about because it was just enough. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fart every time you kiss or fight an ostrich. Yeah. So. Do am I just by myself? Do I get weapons when I fight the ostrich? No, it just says fight an ostrich. Oh, fist just, fight. Yeah. Fist, fist fight. fight. Yeah. Fist okay. Fight. All right. All right. Fight. You I, strangle if you want. <laughs> yeah, man. So if you hey, choose the ostrich, that's a ostrich, long neck, bro. <laughs> it, seems, it seems like you're leaning to the ostrich side. How would you fight the ostrich then? Yeah, because uh, like if this is a kangaroo, I would. Oh, with the kangaroo. Kangaroos, really? kangaroos, kangaroos you up. They're yeah. mean, bro. Yeah, yeah. They're they're mad they, mean. they got strong I've ass those, like I've seen those videos. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I for some reason I just feel like I have uh an like an advantage over the ostrich. Oh, do you? Why? Why is that? Uh, I just feel like I would, I would just literally just jump it and start strangling from the neck and just weigh it down, because then it would be struggling to like run, you know. Yeah. Because uh, I'm wait, not. Sh- wait, how do you do it again? <laughs> <laughs> so that's how he has an advantage. Just, <laughs> he oh. just sort of strangled. Yeah. Just, <laughs> and, then, and then like you gotta. Uh, <laughs> uh, and we'll be right no. back, guys. <laughs> no, Brian uses both hands. <laughs> just like you this. Gotta, you gotta twist it. <laughs> and sometimes you gotta go to the bottom. <laughs> Um, and then you spit on him. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, I'm just I'm just gonna be different. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say I'll try to find an ostrich. Yeah, ostrich. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Try to find an ostrich. I want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Pay per view. Can you imagine if that happened? Like, all right, guys, we're not gonna record this. We're not gonna tell anyone. Here's your ostrich. <laughs> Fight. <laughs> On one, <laughs> like, like I get here and then uh, Jason's like, "Oh, just, just go up here. I need, I need something to take care." Of. There's an ostrich in here. <laughs> right here, it comes here. out of the closet. Yeah. The head, the head. It's like, it's like trying to f- around. <laughs> the ostrich comes out. Yo, you talking shit again, Brian? <laughs> yeah, I heard about you. <laughs> Plus, <laughs> even, even, even if, even if I lose, oh, I can say that I fought an ostrich. Like, what, like what? I get a story out of that's it. True. You know? that's, that's, that's true. true. That's, that's true. That's true. Versus, versus, if I fart every time I kiss, like I gotta explain, like you know, I got, I got IBS, or you know, I got some sort of, sort of problem. I'm sorry, this isn't happening. You know, every yeah. time you gotta explain every single time, rather than, hey man, you ever hear the time I fought an ostrich? I lost, but you yeah. know, it was fucking tight. I feel it. Yeah. No, but, but it's to the death. Yeah, to the. Oh, death. it's to the death. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I didn't know oh. that to the death. So part. you're not that's gonna it. live to, unless if you lose. I you, die a hero. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, also that that'd be pretty sick on my headstone. Just fought an ostrich wow. and died. And you died. I don't know if I if you I said died. You had the advantage. Yeah. Look, we don't know until I actually do it. That's the All right, let me call. Let dies. me call a friend real quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude, there'll be some ostrich farms over here. You okay, know? so you'd find hey, an ostrich. I find an ostrich. Bro. Yeah. Just practice yeah. the technique. <laughs> the technique. <laughs> I'm Brian's training all day. <laughs> all day, every day, son. <laughs> he like trained twice while we were in here. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I almost fell <laughs> on my drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I'm crying already, man. Uh, <laughs> so the uh, practice twist. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Uh, I can't. <laughs> <laughs>
shit. Oh. Yeah, but yeah, I'd fight an ostrich. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think I would try it too. You'd fight I'd try it too, yeah. Like, why not? Dude, hell yeah, dude. Let's go. Yeah, dude. Let's go. The only thing you, you want to touch those yeah. hands? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This, why is, this, is this your training hand? <laughs> why are they already wet? <laughs> Oh, yeah, I think I think you just gotta watch out for the head, but right, like, isn't that what they do? They no, I, I think it's well. I want to say it's like the leg because they got they got pretty strong legs. I think they're fast yeah. though. They're right? fast. They're fast. Yeah. But can't those fools like turn their head around too? And yeah, I think they do that. They peck yeah. hard too. Oh yeah, they, yeah. they, they what? Like how? <laughs> <laughs> Like head dashes. Do it twice. Oh, do it twice. Yeah. <laughs> In quick succession. Slowly. <laughs> Slowly. Is this okay. doing it for you, CJ? Um, <laughs> I would fart, to be honest. I think that would be funny as hell. Yes, sir. Like, like, wait, is it sure? <laughs> <laughs> You've been training with that. <laughs> All right. Next question. Permanently sound like you just inhaled helium? Or <laughs> permanently. Art knows someone that sounds like that. Oh, really? Or text your mom saying help, and then you're silent for a month. Like that just happens. Yeah, or? you just text help, and then no response for a month. It's kind of fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> or permanently sound like you just inhaled helium. You know, I mean, I think I'd understand why my mom can't. I wouldn't text my mom. The prompt is your mom. <laughs> you 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 text your mom help, yeah. and then don't respond at all after. after like you, text you help. don't re- you don't respond. Oh, you don't respond. So it's like a plea for help. So you you text your mom help, and then you can't talk to anyone for something. Basically, you're you're in distress. Okay. And your mom thinks you need help. Right. Yeah. And you but can't, you, but you, you don't can't, answer. And you can't talk to you anyone. Disappear? No. You disappear too? No. Not disappear, but like you don't make any contact. contact. Uh, like you can't contact your contact friends. Like, like, I'm yeah, trying yeah, to get yeah. the fucking parameters, yeah. dude. Yeah. So basically, you text your mom for help, but you're, you're not going to respond for a month after anybody. that. Yeah, to, so anybody. Like, to anybody. Okay. To anybody. Okay. Okay. So, so like yeah, a, you just, you like just fall off the like Yeah. So it's like a prank kind of. Yes. Damn. I honestly, like. Or healing voice. I think I would, I would. Do the texting. I would do the texting. Damn. Yeah, dude. I already kind of do that on my days off. I'm okay. going to be real. Like, <laughs> Your mom be crying for a month? <laughs> uh, I don't think she's going to be crying. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Hey, it's... it's. What is that? Oh, right here, sorry, sorry. Yeah, he, he, <laughs> the ostrich cut in the waist. Yeah. <laughs> the ostrich neck. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, I would say I would say do the whole prank thing. I already text my mom things and she doesn't respond ever. <laughs> she would respond to help. <laughs> no, like she she's not a she's not like, much of a she's help, not much help, of a texter. Help with, mm-hmm. yeah. help with like, groceries. She's not um if anything, like she's more attached to like Facebook Messenger because mm-hmm. like she uh, talks yeah, to yeah, our yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. she uses the free calling feature yeah, yeah, yeah. to talk to like things. The, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Philippines and all that. Yeah. Um so she's not much of a texter. Like I will text her literally anything. Like uh, like I think just yesterday my aunt called me. It's like, hey, you know, can you can you ask your mom <clears throat> to text us like this number for like this other family friend or whatever? And I was like, no, because even if I text her, she's not gonna text. She doesn't text. All right, so scenario: like say like yeah. you call her, right? And the only thing that she hears is help, help. and a scream, and then <laughs> no more. <laughs> Bang, that's it, right? Right. Ooh. Okay. And okay. Make it even better. It was on right? Facebook Messenger. <laughs> ah. All right. Yeah. So. So why would you? So okay, your Facebook status. See, this is this is this is hard. This is harder now because, <laughs> like, I will call on both Facebook Messenger and See? she does not answer at all either. What? What? Yeah. Hold up. Let's call her on the pod. Huh? Let's call her on the let's pod. Let's test right this. Now. You, want, you, want, you want me to call her right yeah, now? Yeah, let's, let's do this. this. Okay. Do this for the I will call my mom. If, right if now. she picks up, we'll say hi, auntie. All right. I literally put, call put, her yeah, yesterday. Put, put she didn't answer. Put your phone through the mic. Okay, wait, wait, hold on. Do I need to put on speaker? Do I need to put on speaker? Yeah, yeah. do it. Right. Thanks for the mic. <laughs> yeah, see, there's no... She just went to voicemail. Oh, okay. Yeah. Damn it. Told you. All right. Yeah, yeah. see, told just you. Just that whole thing. Yeah. Nah, <laughs> just because it proves you wrong. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. I mess with my mom all the time, all the time. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, I'd probably... What was the other option, though? Uh, helium. Oh, oh no, yeah, yeah. I couldn't. I can't. Do I that. couldn't, dude, because I'd just be laughing all the time. All the time. So, what would you do? <laughs> no, yeah, I'd, I'd probably prank. Yeah, prank help. I think for me, I would do prank too, but it goes 50 50. I think my mom, like, she would be like, what? Jokingly, like, like yeah, yeah, what's yeah, going yeah. on? But like, you can only say help, right? Yeah, so. you can yeah. only say, say help, right? But so I also help. think if she did take it, you know, seriously, she would be like worried. Yeah, for sure. I think that's the only yeah. thing, especially since like, it's a month too. Yeah. Damn. Kind of a long joke. I know. 
<laughs> and then in the month comes like what happened uh, what i forgot <laughs> yeah, what yeah. last question have all of your food chewed by another person before eating it mm. or always feel like you didn't sleep the night before that's or, super easy okay yeah so sleep <laughs> one that's me yeah, every day <laughs> that's me every day dog mm-hmm. um yeah because having someone else chew my food nah bro like that's the best part okay i like smacking my lips <laughs> all right right there right. I, t- I take the sleep thing too because there's nothing saying it that like i just can't sleep afterwards chew the food or not or, not feel like you had a good night's sleep right yeah. yeah uh but you know what i think i could do it I, i'd feel like i and didn't get good sleep yeah i feel like that's about 75 percent yeah. of my week anyways yeah, yeah. amen no so what's another 25 percent it's another set of eye bags yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I feel the same way too if I had, it would be my significant other. Yeah. Or Gracie. <laughs> yeah, Gracie. Gracie is his dog. Can you imagine? <laughs> now, Gracie would just eat that shit. <laughs> it wouldn't even bother spitting back up. All right. So let's get into some Q&As. These are okay. questions that are submitted through our Instagram, our Instagram stories. Mm-hmm. Uh, the first Q&A. This comes from Christine. Dining with Christine. Oh, oh hey. Yeah. Hey. Uh, what is CJ's favorite in and out hack or any other new ones he wants to share? This is something <laughs> that is not prepared for you, oh. but you have to make yourself, obviously, okay. with whatever we have at the store. But I like lemon pepper fries. Pepper fries. Okay. So you obviously, that? No, you can't get it. Oh. You have to make yourself. So, Oh, no, yeah. yeah. You order your fries, but mm. then you get lemons from the dining room. Throw that on there. Get some black pepper. Oh, yeah. Bang. Oh, and then on top of that, add a little bit of chilies on top. Okay. Lemon pepper fries. Money. Now is that yeah. is that are those fries well done? <clears throat> is that how you get them? Or? Me personally, I like my fries light well. Light well. Yeah. Light, light well's well. new to me. I know that is new to me. Yeah. So what's, there's what's three different well? types. So there's a regular fry. Right. Mm-hmm. You have a light. Uh, sorry, four. A light oh. well. Okay. All right. Fourth, third one is fry well. Fry well. Fry well. Dang, there's actually five. five. Okay. He, just, he just keeps making them up. I just make them up fry, medium well. Fry extra well. Fry extra well. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And then a fry light where it's slightly underdone. That's crazy. So For- it's like you're ordering potatoes? Like just straight up. Yeah. Straight up Can you imagine up. The, the person fry this person? No. <laughs> it's like busy too. <laughs> no, and that's, what, that's the part that sucks, right? Is oh, is that, that what When it we is? have those special orders, like yeah. we have to dedicate solely one basket ah. of fries oh. just for that. But then it throws off the whole rotation because, oh, yeah. like, I got freaking fifteen fry orders coming coming down. Yeah, yeah. but Let me then get that like, well, exactly. Don't be that guy. <laughs> <laughs> you asked for all five. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get one fry of each. Of each please, <laughs> I'm gonna just grab a bag, pull it, on, and be like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I was actually gonna think about that. I was like, I want to taste the difference. <laughs> yeah, dude. Well, you can. Yeah, dude. So like, fry lights obviously slightly underdone. Okay. Regular fry and then fry light well is slightly crispier. Fry well crispy and then extra crispy. All right. Next question. This comes from Christian Alcazar. My boy. He goes, wildest Padres, Padres game story. Do you have one? Okay. Oh, right. <laughs> that, that looks as everything. Oh, yeah. For, yeah, man. For, for those that can't see, CJ mm. just kind of like. Hey, he's, first he's of all. Side. <laughs> yeah, he sighed. We need to cheers to that. Cheers, cheers, cheers to that Padres cheers, game. Cheers. Yes, cheers. Sir. cheers. Yeah, so um, me, oh. are we, are we, are we, are we, <laughs> me and Christian uh, went out to the game uh, with some homies. Okay. And we actually ran into our other in and out homies, too. Oh, okay. And then we were already tossed, dude. We were. What we, inning was this? This was probably only like the sixth oh, inning. Oh, okay. Yeah. I going to say second. And then <laughs> I feel like we, we didn't even go to our seats. We were just walking around the park. You know, I think that's uh-huh. a, that's the best part about Petco too, though. Yeah, Obviously, a lot of stuff. there's a lot of stuff. You know, there's different places where you could just kick it. You yeah. know, even just kick it and get a better view than your seats. You know, yeah. um, little little hack for y'all: a hey, buy nosebleeds and then just kick it on field level. Ah, like, uh, yeah. Um, but oh. other than that, like yeah, we were tossed by the sixth inning. Met up with you our boys. See everybody standing from the nosebleeds. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, dude. Right. Um, but yeah, we were tossed by the sixth inning and. Met up with our homies and someone had the great idea. Hey, let's go out after. And one of our homies was just in basketball shorts. Oh shit! Okay, and and downtown, like, right? Yeah, downtown, yeah, downtown. Right? Yeah. But it was also like a Saturday, so it was popping. And oh, yeah. we ended up going into 
uh, I forgot what club it was, but Christian oh, sh- at night. Yeah, at night. Okay, Christian. They let knew, him in with the best yeah. shirts. So, because Christian knew the bouncer. Oh. All right. And then let us all in, and then it was just wild in. What club was this, dude? I I don't even. Damn that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but. Yeah, I didn't even know where I was. <laughs> yeah, dude. All I know is just shaking ass, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and all these ones were raining down. I know. And then all of a sudden, it I wasn't even farting. in a club. He started farting. <laughs> started farting or something. Yeah. He's like kissing right now. Yeah, <laughs> um, and an ostrich comes out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like, we get out of the club and we're faded. Christian's like tossing. Christian's a type of drunk <laughs> that he just he's the disappearing one. Oh, uh, he's a disappearing okay. one. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, dude. They just disappear, but they come back later. Right? Yeah. Houdini. So yeah. <laughs> me, me and my homeboy Justin, and I forgot who else it was, but we're like, we get out the club, and Christian's like, "Hey, I'll be right back. I'll be right back." And he starts walking the other way, and we're like, we get separated, right? We get back to the car, and we're like trying to call him, call him. It's been like thirty minutes, forty five minutes. All he said was help. <laughs> <laughs> didn't see him for a month. Yeah, didn't see him for a month. <laughs> yeah, and then 45 minutes goes by, and next thing you know, he's freaking opening the car door and hopping into the whip, and we're like, dog, where are you? Or where, where, where were you? you? Where yeah. were you? You're um, in the car now. <laughs> yeah, we, you're in the car now. Yeah. And then, so the running joke between us is uh, he went to just go f- with the walruses. <laughs> All right, next question. Anyways. <laughs> Craziest in and out experience. Can you share this? Yeah, I can. I can. Okay. Um, Dude, <laughs> when you're so, working in sports arena, <laughs> yeah, what? Oh God, in and out, so in work, and out at sports arena, yeah, or? off Rosecrans. Rosecrans. Oh, I didn't know there was an in and out there. Yeah, dude. So that one is so a little context. <laughs> that location is probably the most ghetto one in San Diego. Oh wow! Even God. I've never worked at National City, but I'm sure, dude, this beats all of them out. Okay. So the reason being is that there is a mental facility down the street from this location, yeah. and it's from all. Like basically all the homeless people that ambulances pick up uh-huh. and when they get released, they're just out in the streets. Oh, okay. okay. Oh. And so this was probably at, towards the tail end of COVID, but we still had like all those precautionary measures, like the plexiglass on the counter, um, stuff like that. I'm getting off work cause I worked three to 11, but I had to go back into the store because I forgot my wallet. So I'm pulling up to the front doors and there's this guy there and he's like, dude, you need to help me. I, I'm I'm gonna kill myself. I'm gonna kill myself. What kill the myself, heck? right? And I'm just like, hey man, like first of all, like are you okay? Like are you okay? Are you physically hurt? Yeah, yeah. And he's like, no, like I need you to call the ambulance. I was like, hey man, I can't do that for you, but I need to know like if you're physically in pain or if you're physically hurt, I will call it for yeah. you, right? Um, and he's like, no, no, like I'm gonna kill myself. And he was like, kind of blocking the door. And I was like, hey man, like listen, like if you're hurt, I'll do it. Okay. Yeah. And then he ends up like just walking off a little bit. So I go back into the store, get into the back. And as soon as I'm turning the corner to go into the kitchen, just to say bye to everyone, I see this guy. Same guy? The same guy. Okay, same guy. Same guy. Jump over the plexi or over the counter, knocks over the plexiglass, grabs the associate that hands out your food in the Uh corner, grabs them, pulls them off to the side. Then climbs into like through the window and hold, is holding on to the car that's at the window. What? what the heck? On top of that, his pants yeah. are down to his knees. Oh. And he's like, he's like, you need to call the police. You need to call the police. Like, I'm going to kill myself. I'm going to yeah. kill myself. And I'm like out of uniform, you know. But at this point, like I grabbed a girl scraper. That's probably uh-huh. like the sharpest, sharpest tool that we have out yeah. there. And... Uh, the guy that got pulled from the corner, like, he's like, I'm going to fight this fool. I'm going to fight this fool. And I was like, hey, bro, you need to step back. I was like, no, like, you need to chill out, yeah. right? Yeah. And at this point, I'm telling my other manager, like, hey, lock down, lock down the whole entire store because we also still had, like, customers in the dining room. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. at this point, it was only to-go orders only. Oh, so thankfully, it wasn't, yeah. like, sit down. Yeah. Oh, I was like, it wasn't, like, full, yeah. yeah. And then, like, people, like, started, like, they were trying to, like, like talk to the guy and like mm-hmm. start they wanted to come into the kitchen. I was like, hey no, y'all, like, like let's just like everybody, like, I know you haven't gotten your food, but I need everyone to step outside. Yeah. Cause at this point I need to lock down the store. Like I need to like lock right. all the doors, yeah, all right. the windows. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm telling like talking over the headset, like, hey, stop taking orders. Yeah. Tell them that there's uh, an emergency going on. Um, this, this and this and this, right? So still holding the girl scraper in hand yeah. and like this fool, like <laughs> at one point he comes down and then like he starts coming, approaching me. I'm like, hey, bro, like you need to step back. 
like you need to step back, mm, yeah. right? Yeah. But then he goes back out to the to the window, still holding on to that same car. And this is going on for like ten minutes, like just like him screaming. I'm surprised that car still yeah. there waiting yeah. for its food. Yeah, you know? no, okay. So I, I'm, I would put the window like. Yeah. So I'm, get, I'm gonna get to okay. that. Right? Okay, so, okay, okay. There's more to the story. Yeah, dude. So, yeah. So he's like hanging outside the window, yada yada. Stores on lockdown. Um, I tell everyone to leave the dining room, so it's just associates. Associates are in the back, and it's just me and the manager up there, right? And the guy. And like yeah. and the guy. And then next thing you know, like we already called the police. They're on their way, and then this guy. Hops into the truck bed of that oh, car. Oh. <laughs> as soon as that happens, we shut the doors. Yada yada. Yeah. Perfect timing though. The police pull up at the same time. Oh, so okay. because that the guy in the truck he pulled off into the parking lot, right? Yeah. Right. And then <laughs> this is the best part, bro. Like, okay. <laughs> right. oh, yeah. So like There's we're more. like, I know yeah, it keeps going. So yeah. the police comes in. Like right. he's like, hey, like do you want press char- like press charges? Yada yada. And they're like, no, 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 no. And then uh, knock on the door on the front door. And it's the driver of that pickup. Okay. Yeah. And I'm like, hey, man, like, are you okay? Like, I'm so sorry. And he's like, hey, man, can I just get my food? <laughs> <laughs> that guy was having a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. dude. Like, no, I, can, I can see that. Yeah, yeah, like, for sure. He was, like, right. a construction uh, yeah. worker, bro. He was, like, you he was know, on like, his lunch break. Yeah, yeah dude. Cause, like, his light well fries are now well done. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> With a side of pubes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Season, lightly seasoned. <laughs> That's what we call them, uh, <laughs> lemon pepper fries. Because yeah, <laughs> it's salty. <laughs> oh. Ostrich is in the passenger seat. <laughs> but yeah, dude. So that's that's probably like... That's pretty nuts, dude. That's, yeah, that's, that's, nuts. that's so, crazy. So do you, do you know what ended up happening to that guy? Or? Nah, man. Yeah. At that point, like we just got in the police's hands. Yeah, yeah it's okay. in the police's hands. We just got to report it to our prison. It's crazy, though, because like thankfully there was no like videos of that incident because surprisingly surprisingly yeah. not you know what i mean because i feel like that would have blown up real oh. quick but oh. that's that's Hands down that's crazy that's definitely why i wanted everyone to get out of the store not only yeah. just for safety sake right but also i'm just like that's just another thing that we have to deal with now so it's a business yeah, at the end of the yeah day, dude yeah. like yeah. i have to protect my associates i have to protect the company and yeah. myself dude like because at yeah, point so. like at some point like there's always going to be some kind of misperception like say he did attack me and I had to freaking use that girl scraper and you, you know? to defend yourself and they're like oh like you knew he was crazy why did you kill him or whatever yada yada yeah, I'm just yeah, like nah yeah. bro come on because I thought he was an ostrich bro <laughs> <laughs> It was either that or Fort every time yeah. I did. I, re- I remembered my training. <laughs> Instinct just kicked in. I mean, his pants was half down, he said, so. Yeah, but you spat on him twice. <laughs> we have fun here. Oh, yes. man. All right, next question. This comes from Alan. Uh, Alan, uh, do you hate when people order a secret menu item? So define secret menu item. Ooh, uh, an item that's secret. Like that's not on like, like a, any of the completely. I would say any of like the regular you know the yeah. the secret but not secret like people know about is it, it like another oh like, yeah oh, so like, like extra stuff. Item, so like, like you guys talking about like custom. animal style like yeah, animal, yeah, yeah no like, like I have no problem about that I think the problem that I do have is when people see all these TikTok hacks mm, and yeah. think that it's like an actual menu item like so, like what so for example like um a kid TikTok. was asking for like hey. Can I get roadkill fries? Oh, I've never heard of that. So it's it's not a real thing, please. Yeah. No, yeah. yeah. Disclaimer. Yeah. <laughs> Disclaimer. It's not a real yeah. thing. But the TikTok trend or whatever it is on social media is like we put the meat patties on there for you yeah. and on top of your animal fries, oh, so man. forth and so on. Yeah. But that just doesn't happen. Yeah. So yeah we, we can't do that. Obviously, it it takes away from the quality of our product. Mm-hmm. We are more than happy to get you meat patties on the side, but you have to do that all, all oh, that yeah, stuff yeah, by yourself. Yeah, but sense. when people like are pressing, like, no, like they let me do this at this other location, yada, yada, this and this and this. Oh, and this. I'm happens. like, yeah. that's incorrect. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, but you know, don't you love it when someone says they got an allergy? <sighs> oh, oh, no. Oh, oh okay, let's talk Did about I it. spill the beans? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> what happened? So, yeah, I, we're we're more than willing to like, um, you know, provide or, you know, cater to whatever your guys' needs are. Uh-huh. If you have an allergy, for sure, you yeah. know, but it is, it is definitely a process um, because we have to use like a separate pan. Oh, we have to use a separate, separate cooking utensils, yeah. Yeah, separate, separate everything. What's it called? Cross contaminant. Yeah, yeah, Cross contaminant. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, oh, dude, if you're allergic to onions, but you know, uh, onions is everywhere around yeah. here, dog. Like, can how you? allergic are you though? Really? <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> and the gluten allergies. I'm just like, bro, oh, that's hard. Just like, 
Just get protein stuff. Just get protein stuff. Yeah. No. I mean, I know, I know a friend like with gluten, but it's like, you know, we just eat somewhere else that has yeah. it, you know? Yeah. 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 But that's like just a respect thing, you know what I mean? Right, it's like, exactly. Hey, it's like too much of a hassle to do that. You know I mean? Right, right, right. But I appreciate your business, but. Yeah. I was joking around like, yeah, every time I would tell him I have an allergy, but I want a double double like regular <laughs> style, but I just want to cook on my own thing. Do you, do you visit him from time uh, to time? Like, no, he's what? actually never seen me in action. Actually, no, no. There was that one time you gave me that hot chocolate. That one time, remember when oh, you had that? Great wait, which, like actual hot chocolate? Which or? store do you work at? We'll bleep that if you want me to. Uh, I le- work at Fifty Seven, so. Find out where that is. Jeez, all right, I'm yeah. googling. No, one, no one's gonna know unless you work there, exactly. and if Someone's you work there, you're like, not gonna. Yeah. I found him. I found him. Like, What's up, baby girl? You like they're, the smell of farts? <laughs> they really want to find you that bad. Yeah. 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 All right. So this question comes from Hawaii. Uh, this is from Roxanne. So uh, how do you make the animal style sauce? Ooh, is that a trade secret? Um, unfortunately, that is. Well, there's a lot of training that. for that one. Yeah. <laughs> It is a secret sauce. <laughs> it is a secret sauce. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah, I cannot uh, reveal those details. Okay. Respect. Water barred it out of them, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this next question comes from Nadine. Oh, uh, hey. If you're comfortable sharing, what's an experience you had that taught you so much about yourself? I would probably say the whole Bell's Palsy experience, for sure. Oh, yeah. 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 So That changes the person. Yeah, just a little summary, yeah. Like when something medically happens to you, like it's something happening to you, not like around you, right? Mm-hmm. But you definitely realize what you're made of. Mm-hmm. And like, it's definitely not just a physical recovery. It's a mental recovery too. Oh yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. yeah. Oh shoot. The rest are from Nadine. So, <laughs> okay. I think yeah, let's just, just get her in here. <laughs> <laughs> um, she asked, well, I think we already answered that. Are you single? And what are three things you would put on your dating profile? Ah, if, you whoa. Only put, if you could only put three things, I think this is a good time. Like, yeah. For anyone that's interested, <laughs> you like what you see, or leave like it in the DMs. Right here, you, know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you want CJ to return as a reoccurring guest, let us know in the comments. Yeah, yeah. yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, you know what? Uh, definitely, I'm I'm in a weird spot. I'm definitely talking to someone. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Do they know? What's that? Do they know? <laughs> <laughs> Do they know? <laughs> Is this someone you're stalking? Wait, wait are you talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I am talking to a girl. Okay. Uh, so I mean. Okay. I would cons- um but what well, I would put on my dating profile. Yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Whether or not you're seeing someone that's yeah. beside the yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. All right, sorry, my bad. Um she's not gonna watch the pot anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> Let's see. I would say on my dating profile, I would put I'm a woodworker. 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 Like oh, literally. you'd be working on that wood. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Let's take it as Mr. it is. Mr. Geppetto himself. <laughs> <laughs> lie to me. Lie to me. <laughs> I'm a real boy. <laughs> Man, you would you would fit in with our colonial <laughs> times. <laughs> Art has an adult shop. You'd be a woodworker. <laughs> yeah, so actually, I really do enjoy building things. Yeah. Um, I actually like built like a little entertainment center like in my house. That's really legit. Oh, so, like a, like a carpenter kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm car- I'm carp. Yeah, carpenter. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll put a picture right there. <laughs> right there. I'm gonna yeah. ask you for pictures. Exactly. Okay. And then Stuff I also made, right? yeah. built yeah. a outdoor projector screen in my backyard. What? Thanks. Nice. Yep. Cool. Okay. Um, but yeah, I've, obviously I learned that from my dad. Yeah. Like just freaking getting down with your hands. Oh yeah. Um, and did I you have to like yeah. YouTube it or something, or did you? Yeah. Just go off. Okay. Yeah, for sure. But I think it's just all hands-on experience too, yeah. right? Like you learn come as you comes go. with waves. Yeah. 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 Um, nice. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, okay. So yeah, I would put that because I know ladies like men that work with their hands. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that's one. Yeah, yeah. that's right. one. That's one. Uh, Two? The second one um, that I speak three languages. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Real languages? Yeah, or? real language. Yeah. It's imaginary, so. like... Jar Jar Binks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he speaks, he speaks, he speaks, he speaks <laughs> Elvish. Jump one, jump one, Han Solo. Okay, no, what, what are the languages that you speak? Um, So I speak what? English. Of course. I speak Tagalog. Okay. No way. Oh, fluent? fluent? Fluently. What what uh what dialect? Uh, just Tagalog. Oh, like, yeah. like, okay. Let's say we're in in and out in the Philippines. Mm-hmm. Give me your order in Tagalog. My order? Yeah. What are you trying uh, to order? Isang hamburger. <laughs> uh, asama ng sebuyas. Uh, tsaka isang uh, french fry. At uh, isang coke. Um, para sa bahay. 
Oh, this is a low bar because all of the, yeah. some like half it's of that like was like English. borrowed English. Yeah. Words. But it's true though. That's how. Yeah, it, yeah, that's how you say it, right? Because yeah. like yeah, Tagalog yeah. is, I feel like ta- Taglish. Like, yeah. like even when you go out there, right. like right. it's like Taglish, like yeah. heavy. Yeah. 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 Um, but actually, yeah, I learned Tagalog nice. like growing up, right, with our grandma or with yeah. with Nanai, because yeah. um, he only spoke yeah. Tagalog. Tagalog. And then the last one is. Um, it's always been like a bucket list item for me because I live in San Diego, yeah. but it's Spanish. Like Spanish. Yeah, Spanish, you know. Sure. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. Because pero necesito practicar más porque yeah. mi español es basura. Ah. <laughs> Duolingo, shout out. Duolingo sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I would, I okay, so that's two. What's uh, what's the last one? English. English. No, 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 no. <laughs> the last. <laughs> That's three, <laughs> baby. No, I said like the, the last thing on your list. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh shit. I was moving oh. on. <laughs> um, oh my god. I would probably say the last thing would be A, if you want to find out the last thing, then come hang out. Ooh. Ooh, mysterious. Ooh. Okay. Since we had your uh your your go to for um your your and then I order in Tagalog, what is your order in English? So obviously it depends on mood. Okay. But I think my go-to is a double single, double single. Mm-hmm. grilled mm-hmm. onions, double single. add ketchup, okay. add raw chopped onion, add chilies, Ooh. extra toast on the bun. Mm-hmm. Mustard fried? So all my In-N-Out fanatics out there, they're going to realize that that's actually animal salad, but just add raw chop ah. um, oh. hmm. and light spread. But that's how I like it. Damn, yeah. everyone's like, damn, this guy's taking up the, like this order. <laughs> yeah, exactly. it's like I'm a manager. <laughs> exactly, but, yeah, right? but that's that's like, holding up the order. So like that's like a like that's like an in and out thing, right? Respecting because yeah. like obviously you run through your burger and then the cook sees it and it's just like, damn, oh, he, fool, like I'm reading like three lines right yeah. here. But that's why you only do you do it with like your your homies and or if okay. you cook it yourself. Uh, um, because the way that I grew up with like all the old heads at In and Out, like if you ran that shit through, you get a <laughs> double double plane, fool. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you get one free meal per shift exactly. kind of thing? Like, how does that work? Yeah, one free meal per shift. Okay. Um, but if you're a customer, no discounts. How does that work when it comes to patty? Because I know people like getting four by fours and all that stuff. Is it just one patty per meal? Only up thing? to two patties. Oh, two patties. Up okay. to two patties and two cheese. And then fries? Is that and then included? fries. Fries is included. And a shake? What's up? No shake. No shake. No shake. No shake. Oh, that's extra. Oh. Okay. Thank you for uh, sending in your questions. We do yeah, appreciate yeah, yeah. it. So next portion is our guest plug. Uh, where can our community members find you? Social media handles, website, or just the uh, in and out location? In and out location. Actually, uh, I took a, a hiatus off of all social media. Okay. Um, yeah. Actually, yeah. I love my life without it. You know, I nice. think uh, it's a good thing. You know, like I feel like I don't get FOMO. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. right. um, I don't feel like I'm keeping tabs on like people. I'm not worried about what everyone else is doing. I'm just doing me. Yeah. 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 But I mean, I didn't delete it, but you can find me at Bing Tarat. Wait, yeah. what? Is that in Tagalog? <laughs> Bing Tarat? No, straight yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, Bing yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my well, Your nickname is Bing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Let's talk about that. Yeah, so, all right, so my real name is Christian Joe. How I got Christian Joe is because my mom's name is Marie, my dad's name is Jose, so like Mary and Joseph, but they thought uh. it was too holy to call me Jesus, so they decided uh. on a Christian. All oh, right. all right. Yeah. So, how Bing came about, my mom's nickname is Ben Bing, but... When she was pregnant with me, she won a bingo jackpot. Oh, what? And my full real nickname is Bingoy. Okay. Yeah. So, but my family calls me Bing. Yeah. That's good. Stuff. And then the tarat. And then yeah. tarat is just boom tarat. Yeah, yeah. So when you were on social media, what what type of platforms were you on? Uh, I was on Instagram. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, TikTok. No, no Facebook? I'm oh, surprised. Face- yeah. Facebook actually cut out probably like back in the day too. Oh, honestly. Yeah. Like, just doing me, sir. Shout outs. Any shout outs recognitions? Um, obviously, it's a Bruin podcast. Obviously, hey. this, is, hey. this is like a really cool experience. Yeah. Glad uh, having you on. Yeah, man. Like, I love the setup. I, I definitely enjoy watching all your pods. Aside from the fact that this is my PIC. <laughs> <laughs> Slight bias. Slight bias. <laughs> oh, oh, you know. <laughs> Does he ever give you shit for that or what? No, 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 no. No? But okay. 
<laughs> just too much dirt on you. Yeah, dude. Uh, but yeah, shout out to Lindsay. Obviously, I'm very grateful to be working for the company that I work for. Yeah. Um, shout out to In N Out. Uh, shout out to In N Out. Uh, big shout out to my sisters. Uh, thank you. Love you guys. Thanks for always having my back, supporting me. I've met them before. I don't think so. Uh, don't One think. is in Escondido. Well, yeah, we yeah because we use. Um, Michelle Ch- Ch- yeah. Michelle's oh, house. Yeah, well, oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. My sister. Yeah, so that's yeah. my eldest sister. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Eldest sister, and I have a middle sister named Joanna. Um, but yeah, shout out to them. Let's see. Shout out to Akazar. Hey. Christian, love you, bro. Miss okay. you, dude. Um, let's see. Shout out uh, to the girl, Kim. What's up, Kim? Oh, is that who it is? Hey. But yeah, uh, let's see. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Future, yeah. Future upcoming yeah, projects. Yeah, upcoming projects. Oh, upcoming projects. Let's see. Uh, super excited about my cousin's wedding in Cancun. Oh, you're the same. Okay, Ooh. same cousin. We heard about. Yeah. yeah. yeah so we're gonna. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, did come crash, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Come crash Cancun, race. you yeah. say? I'll yeah. Say, oh, yeah. What's we'll you? Uh, what we'll resort? Yeah, just dude. Come, okay. Just come through. Just get get your own rooms. We'll, we'll fit in. Uh, <laughs> I know. It's just brown. That's why we want to be practicing our Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Hola. Hola. Como te llamas? <laughs> Um, Get let's see. Papa. Yeah, so we got that wedding in uh, February, but then I have another wedding uh, in April on my oh. dad's side, and okay. I'm going out to Florida. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. what part of Florida? Um, I don't even know, bro. It's Florida. Like, like I just know that I need to. <laughs> well, my, I mean, Miami's a different feel. Oh, you know? I love Miami, bro. Yeah, I love Miami. Yeah, it's so, like, food's so good too. Miami. Miami. Cuban food is top oh, tier, yeah. bro. Oh, yeah, mm, top definitely. top tier. Um, let's see. But also, um, so yeah, this girl that I'm talking to, I'm actually. Uh, gonna meet her family. Oh, oh. big step! Yeah, yeah. so it's kind of cool. Yeah. I think it's uh, it's her sister's birthday okay. coming up, and she was like, "Hey, like, just wondering if uh, you wanted to come out to dinner with us and stuff yeah. like that." I've, like, talked to her over nice. like Facetime and stuff like yeah. that, but never in person. And she's like, "Yeah, like, I really want to like meet you." Yeah, um, definitely. But then it's a surprise dinner too, so that's okay. gonna be kind of cool. Yeah, and then I'm sure we're gonna go out for drinks after and stuff okay. like that. But Wait, can we talk about that? How you guys met? Oh yeah, dude. Yeah. Um, so basically, friend of a friend. Friend of friend. Yeah, friend In of a friend. too. Um, no, she's actually from down south. Okay. Yeah, so a friend of a friend. She's from down south, and we just started talking, dude. Yeah. Like at the time, both of us kind of got out of relationships. Ah. You know, so like yeah. both of us were still kind of like protected, healing. Yeah, healing. Yeah. You know, <laughs> no, walled up. Yeah. yeah, no, yeah. for yeah. sure. Yeah. You know, and and like we just started spending more time together. Okay. You know, and like we kind of realized that like, dang, dude, like. We're, we're both kind of like into each other, you know, yeah. but I think she felt the same way that I was where it's just like, hey, like I need to protect myself first. Oh, yeah. You know what right. I mean, like, so whatever this is, like, let's just, you know, kind of like slow, <laughs> slow, <and> slow. <laughs> you know, but actually recently, like we just been talking and she's like, all right, this sounds kind of simpy. <laughs> Okay. Who cares, man? Is this, Who cares? Is this a two order? <laughs> Who, Who cares? Who cares, dude? Right, go, yeah, go dude you know what? Maybe yeah. we should dive into like relationships. Wow. <laughs> Save it for future. Yeah, 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 maybe, maybe, maybe for the future. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, she was just like, yeah, dude, I, I feel like I was denying like the feelings and like, I know I was trying not to think about a relationship, yeah. but like, I was like, yeah, like I agreed to like, you know what? Like definitely, I think not necessarily like exclusive, exclusive, yeah. but I think we're both on the same page. Like, okay. hey, like. Cool. Like step up. That's crazy that you, talk, that you talk about it. Uh, me and Nadine started off that way. Oh, and yeah. I got out of relationships, came back to Mary Mesa. Mm-hmm. But we can talk about that on a follow-up yeah, episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think she'll see this episode? Are you going to show it to her? Yeah, are you going to show it to her? I'll show it to her. Yeah. 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 Okay, okay, cool. What's up? But... <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> should I? <laughs> um, but yeah, dude, I think uh, she's, she's a cool cat, dude. Because like another thing, um, so my mom passed away oh, in 2021. Sorry to hear. Sorry to hear. Um, no, no worries, dude. She lived a good life yeah. and like... Definitely glad to like non COVID related. No, non COVID. Okay. Uh, she had um, kidney disease, so oh. her kidneys were failing. So unfortunately, even though she was on the list, yeah, um, that's like a whole other thing, dude. Like the politics of healthcare, whatever. Right. Yeah. Um, that's a whole but other thing. you know, she's no longer suffering. So I'm happy good. that she's happy. You know, um, but uh, Kim actually was like, we we're just talking about jewelry, dude. And I was just talking about like, hey, I want like a new gold chain, yeah, yeah, yada, this and this. But I was like, but what I really want is like, I want one of those like pinky power pimp rings oh, okay yeah. you know what i'm saying <laughs> like a and big then, fat ring yeah like, ring like right there right yeah. and then so we're at the mall we're like having dinner at the mall and she's like hey you well you know what like do you want to walk around and then wait she, when you say dinner at the mall panda express or uh, 
<laughs> She's a Latina, so it was actually oh Cotillan. nice. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, at the mall. <laughs> Hold up. Uh, Pause. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So we were yeah. So we we're walking around the mall. She like sees a jewelry store and she's like, "Hey, like, let's go in. Let's just like yeah, for shits and giggles." Okay. So we walk in and she's like, "Oh yeah, cool." So we find out like I'm this ring size, yada yada. A week later, she's like, "Hey, so I got oh, you something." Oh. And then she's like, "Cool, I got a ring." Yeah. And then it's inscribed with your mom's initials. And, oh, uh, damn. And, and the date of her birth and then the damn. date of, that she died. That's crazy. So I'm just like, damn, dude. Like, hold on. Uh, yeah. Damn, she got you a ring first. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like that. Damn. So, <laughs> oh, so shit. you ain't going nowhere. So if this, so if this doesn't work. <laughs> oh. <laughs> if, if this doesn't work out, what do you do with the ring? Are you going to still wear the ring or? Honestly, I felt like when it comes to relationships and like gifts in general, like yeah. if it's a gift, then I gifted it to you. You know, okay. go ahead, right, keep right, it. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's that's. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think I would keep it honestly. Okay. Because I'm just like, you know what? What you gonna do with my mom's initials and stuff like yeah. that? You know, it's like mean? really personalized. Yeah. Too, yeah. Right? yeah. So. Well, last call. This is I think for the three of us. Thank you. Shout yeah. outs. Anything you want to plug? Upcoming events. Pod encounters from friends and family. Uh well, the uh, shout outs to Miguel and Yari. I'm going to the. They're the ones that had the baby shower today. Okay. But, uh, yeah. Last week I was doing their um, maternity shoot and he's like, yeah, so I heard you guys on a podcast. I was like, what the heck? <laughs> How do you know about this? No, <laughs> I see his name in the... Uh, oh, yeah, is he? Yeah, he Miguel? Follows, oh, yeah. shoot. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, yeah. Shout out to, yeah, shout out to Miguel and their uh, soon to be baby girl, Astrid. Nice. Congrats. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's due in uh, March, nice. I think. Yeah. Um, shout out to uh, my homie Alex. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Thanks, Alex. Yeah. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Alex. Yeah. yeah. Celebrate well, you know what I'm saying? Stay healthy. Yeah. Um, what else, man? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come back to you then, yeah, yeah. Jason. Oh, this, this part always gets oh. me caught off guard. Oh, does it? Yeah. <laughs> you know it's coming. We've, coming. <laughs> We've done this for 12 episodes yeah, now. Yeah, 12 episodes. Yeah, now. Um, shout out to my wife. I always have to shout out to my wife because she's the <laughs> executive producer, right? Yeah. Um, she lets us be in this space. Uh, <laughs> I like that. I like that, she, that title. And she supports the pod as much as you know. She doesn't want to be like. In front it. of the camera, yeah. she does support the pod, and we always talk about future uh, things for the pod as well too. Sweet, sweet. Um, she was excited to see you as a guest, so yeah. um, thank you. Shout yeah, out. shout out to CJ. Thank yeah. you for being vulnerable on this cool. on this episode um, and just sharing your life story. Cool. Yeah. And we got thank to dive you. in a little bit uh, deeper too. You even said, "Let's get deep." Like, <laughs> get deep. I think yeah. having a follow up uh, episode that would be cool to get. We, ba- we barely scratched yeah. the surface. Yeah, we actually. scratched the yeah. surface, but we got to know you a bit. Yeah. And hopefully um, everyone got value from you know your story, everything you shared. Uh, shout out to everyone that's been supporting the pod. It's, it's crazy. It's a lot of word of mouth, and it continues to grow. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. So I do appreciate that. Uh, and then I think that's it. Oh, shout out to my family. We're having a family fun day Sunday social oh, it's again. That nice. It's that time. Yeah. And we're Morning so the cool, cool thing is about today is you're bringing a dish that starts with the first initial of your name. Oh, that's oh, cool. Cool, yeah. cool. So, what are so you, you guys bringing? Bring? Jelly, Jelly filled donuts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Baby's uh, bringing yeah. noodles. So, uh, noodles. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. yeah, I guess I'll shout out to, to all of uh, my cousins that aren't here right now. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Especially your sisters. <laughs> I know, dude. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Uh, Rochelle listens to the pod. And, okay. Like, let's uh, our our godson like listen <laughs> to it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Do they know you're gonna be on this episode or? Yeah, yeah. dude. Oh, okay. I was, I was getting I was getting some flack. <laughs> no. What did that look like? <laughs> like in in a good way, you know. Like they're yeah. like, oh, okay. Uh, they're they, they're those there goes those PICs, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, yeah, for sure. Shout out to them because they definitely support you guys. Okay. Obviously, and like yeah. they've been listening for um all all of them pretty much do us a favor subscribe to the channel this does help us out we do appreciate it uh we want to get more uh guests share more stories do new things with this podcast yeah um Hmm. Yeah. Oh, we're on. Uh, we're at the end. We're at yeah. the end. <laughs> we, we made it. Yeah, we made it. Yeah. This is good timing. Under uh, two hours, I'll just have to edit. Yeah. <laughs> um, thank you for hanging out with us. I'm Brew Park Shakur. Art. And this is Brian. And I'm CJ. Peace. Peace. <laughs> good shit. Good shit. Let's get some in and out. <laughs> I know. Good shit. Thanks, dog. <laughs>